2018 is a great year for smartphones. We had the best camera smartphone with the Huawei P20 Pro and with the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 the perfect smartphone when it comes to the total package. And of course we had other smartphones like the OnePlus 6 and more. But now comes the Huawei Mate 20 Pro which is probably the most innovative smartphone of the year. In this video I will tell you why. The design is quickly explained, a glass back with a hyperbolical pattern which makes it more grippy and curved sides on the back and front for a better handling. It is available in various color variants. Of course on the front is a notch design but more on the notch later. When it comes to specs the Huawei Mate 20 Pro comes with the newest hardware from Huawei like the Kirin 980 and more as you can see on the screen. It results in better performance and other things like LTE CAT21, a dual NPU AI unit, Wi-Fi AC Wave 2 and a super fast charging technology with 40 watts supercharge where the 4200mAh battery can charge from 0 to 7 percent in 30 minutes. What's also new is wireless charging with 15 watt which makes it 1.5 times faster than the current competition. With wireless charging comes another very interesting feature. A few years ago Huawei introduced a feature which allows you to use your phone as a power bank for other phones. And now you can do it wireless. Just put another Qi enabled smartphone on the Mate 20 Pro and it charges. Thank you Huawei, very cool. When it comes to storage Huawei had some new ideas. The internal 128GB can now be extended via new NMSD cards which have the exact same size as a nano sim card. For now these cards are only produced by Huawei. The OLED display not only comes with a nice 2K resolution but also with an integrated optical fingerprint sensor which is 20 times faster than on the Porsche Design Mate RS. An alternative unlock method you have inside the notch. Besides the front camera are more sensors located there to make face unlock more secure by shooting dots on your face to get a 3D image of you just like we know from the iPhone and it's supposed to work very well in low light. Of course we have new cameras with a similar configuration as the P20 Pro. But finally the monochrome sensor is replaced by a 20 megapixel ultra wide angle with a really good quality. The Mass AI in its version 2.0 not only recognizes more scenarios, objects and can do more optimizations but also creates photo segments in real time with up to 10 elements and optimizes each one of them separately. With this the dock, the beach, the sea, the sky and the palm trees and so on are separately optimized and put together into one picture. The AI now also allows you to do macro photography up to a distance of 2.5 cm which especially for me is very cool and useful. The Mass AI can now also optimize videos. It can for example recognize what is important in the video and predict the movement of the object for a better focus and with classic movie color you can choose color profiles for your videos. Features like color pop and video bokeh are also rendered in real time. Really cool is the new PC mode which now works wirelessly with Miracast compatible devices and without a docking station. The image is not just mirrored but both displays can be used separately. Besides that the Mate 20 Pro comes with EMUI 9 based on Android 9 and has way less complex settings menus. This was the Huawei Mate 20 Pro, a really exciting smartphone. It's available for 999 euros or your regional equivalent. If you like this video feel free to give us a like otherwise the dislike button is right next to it. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any Mate 20 Pro content. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Umit from Mobile Geeks.